Hi everyone, Idris here. So today we'll be installing SQL, Microsoft SQL Server. And just before we go, I just want to make a quick um, explanation of what we're about to do. So the way SQL works is similar to you going to a restaurant to make an order. So you go to a restaurant, you interact with the waiter, and then the waiter goes inside to let this um, those who are in charge of the kitchen know this is like the order this person makes. So that same process is what is being followed here. So we have two things that we are going to install. So the first one is Microsoft SQL Server. So this is like the guys who are in charge of the kitchen. So this place, this server stores the food, stores the data, stores the tables and all of that. And then you have the SQL Management Studio. So this is like the way that this is like the guy that you are going to be interacting with. So that's where you are going to be writing your queries. Uh, it's like it's like the user interface, right, for the server. So just to prepare your mind because we'll be downloading two things. So let's go over to um, our browser and, and get started. So I will just come over here to Google or any browser and then I'm going to type SQL download, okay? So as soon as you type that, you likely have this one as the first thing that appears. Uh, if not, I'm just going to send the link also in the description. So I'm going to click on it and then we'll have this page. So you just want to scroll down um, to where you can download um, you know, SQL. So you have the developer version um, and then you have the express, but we'll be choosing the express version uh, because this is like ideal for development and production for desktop web and all of that. So this is more for non-production environment, but no worries about that. So let's download this one express. So once I click on download, it's going to download uh, somewhere. Yours could be here, yeah, but just find where it is downloaded and then just open the file. So as soon as you open it, oops, sorry, I have to put my password. So now you have this guy pop up. So you have the basic installation, you have the custom installation, you have download media. So what you want to do now um, is basic. So let's keep it simple. So basic, and then you can read this terms and condition and then just accept once you're done reading. And then this is the installation location. So this is where your SQL will be installed. Um, you might have need for this later, but for now, no, no worries. So just click on install. So as soon as you click on install, it's going to take some time and then this will continue to download. So I'll just pause the video and then return when it is done downloading. Okay, now, so your download is complete. You should have something like this. So download done, installation complete as well. So once you have this, then um, I think everything is good. So what you want to check now is to just confirm the installation. So you can click on connect now. So once you click on connect now, you should have exactly what you have here, which is like one row affected. So that tells you that your SQL server is installed. But like I said earlier, the server is not enough. You cannot just have the guys in the kitchen. There's no one to really like pick the orders for you and all of that. So you need to install the management studio. SQL already gives us that option here. So we can see install SSMS, right? So once you click on this, so we have it open in our browser here. So we have download SQL server management studio SSMS. So of course this is going to be changing. Um, now we have 19.1. So if you are watching this much later, it, I mean, there's always an update um, to this thing. So, but at the moment we have 19.1. So you just want to click on this guy, free download. So just click on it and then the file will be downloaded. Um, right now it's, it's downloading. So it might just take a, a bit of time. Okay, now, so the download is done. I'm just going to click on this place to open the file that's been downloaded. Okay, so now we have um, the option to install. Again, this is the path. Just, just want to click on install, then loading, then we're just going to wait a bit. Okay, now, so setup completed. All specified components have been installed successfully. So we just want to close this and then you can close this as well. Going back to this one or so now, we can close it and exit. Okay. Now, how do we confirm that our SQL has been installed? So you want to come to your Windows search by clicking here or using Windows on your keyboard and then you can type SQL Server. So you're going to see something like uh, SQL Server Management. 
Studio 19. Okay, that's the one we installed. So you just want to click on it, and then it's going to open up. And then once it's opened, once it's opened, you have something like this. Okay. So now what you want to do now is to just click on connect. Okay. Once you do that, you can see that we are already connected to our server, right? So here we can do a number of things like creating database um, and all of that. So, but this is not within the scope of this tutorial. It's just to show you how to install SQL. Now there's a common error that happens. Um, so once you're done here, you can go. No problem. You're, you're done with the installation. Uh, however, some people might not be able to connect like that. They, there might be some issues. So let me try to take this back now. So when you are here and you try to connect and it's not working and probably there's some kind of error, you can actually go to options, right? And then click on trust server certificate and encrypt connection. You can just check both of them. All right. And then you can connect. So I strongly believe that it's going to work this time. That's if it did not connect instantly the first time, you can try this other way and then you will be able to connect. I hope this helps. And in case you still have any doubt, please reach out uh, on the chat. Thank you.